Uh. What do you think the end game is for, for, for this situation? Um, do you see him get locked up? Do you see him publicly Stop being your crying. castrated the way we're, we're seeing now? What we you... Like, 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 for real. Stop your crying. Stop your whimpering. Stop your, 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 your whining and moaning. Because... You're a thief. Okay? You did the little calculative moves. You did the little, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, uh, what is it? Tapping into my phone and my, and my, uh, what, what do you call that? Freaking, uh, I don't know what you call it, but. Getting into my accounts and, and and money laundering, okay, and filing claims to say you're a beneficiary and uh, uh, that 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 I passed away and that you know you may have received some money, you may have, you may have, uh, but you are going to prison. Now you're you're boo hooing and you're crying now. Mm -hmm. But you didn't care when you were taking money out of my out of my mouth. Out of my pocket. Why? Because I didn't sleep with you? Like everybody else does that winks at you? That falls down at your feet and worships you? Hmm? Trying to conjure up demons after me and, 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 and try to get close to me so you can actually take me out because that's what you do. But you didn't know you were being watched though, did you? Did you? You thought you had it in the bag. Hmm? You, you and my other dumb ex. And, 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 and. I don't even know what to call her. A demon. One of you is going to prison. You're going to go there and you're going to be there for the remainder, if not for the rest of your natural life. Because that's not the only thing that you're getting busted for. It's not. It's not. And for the simple fact that you've been silent this whole time. And when you did hit me up, it was on some I need. That's adding to your sentence. That's adding to the weight of what you're about to go through. So yeah, I'd be crying too if I were you. I'd be hiding out, afraid to go outside too, if I were you. Absolutely. And nobody feels sorry for you. You don't deserve mercy. You don't deserve pity, nor empathy. You do not deserve it and you will not have it. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you people to think that you can just take what does not belong to you. Just like they tried to do. Because somebody denies you. So because I won't let you walk all over me, because I won't let you put me in a third party. While you're effing and sucking on whomever and wherever and whatever, you're mad because I wouldn't let you have none of this? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is a privilege. A privilege not many people get. Ask the last one that I was with. Speaking of them, Oh, oh, and the both of you. See, this is what happens when you try to play somebody who took care of you, actually. I took care of you, both of your, your bummy behinds. Your grown bummy behinds. For, for, from my timer. <laughs> the two of you end up sleeping together, uh, uh, together, and then in the same groups, <laughs> you both sleep with my mother, my sister, and then... 
all of you end up with a disease that's going to take you out of here. See how that works? Hmm. Yeah, you see how that works? Yeah, yeah, it's that temptation, the thing that you kept giving into, the thing that you were doing so freely and you thought you was big man, big on campus. It's the thing that's taking you out. Wow. You're locked up. Why you're gonna be locked up? And you know, you know who's gonna be living in your head rent free? Me. Me. Mhm. Mm Just like right now. Just like you're feeling right now, like you wish you, that you that you can come back, cause you missed such an opportunity. You'll be thinking about this for the rest of the days that you have left. That's the pain of it. That's a part of your judgment. And the other ex, your little butt buddy, he's one leg in the grave. He's almost out of here. Deathly sick. Looking like a looking like a sick bird. Hmm. Because you had an insatiable sexual appetite you couldn't put a cap on. See, there's a reason the saying is young and dumb. Yeah. There's a reason that the saying is young and dumb. And I just want you to know how much of a coward that you guys are because all of the barking that you did behind my back, the groups of people, because you look, it made you look stupid now. It made you look stupid. Now that everybody knows what you did and deserted you because of how stupid you were. <laughs> and you you had your chest all puffed out. See, when I was growing up, a man that had his chest puffed out is a man that would say something and do something to somebody's face. To somebody's face. Looking that man in the eye. Saying what you got to say. Get it off your chest. But you were pumped up in secret. Hmm? Because you were afraid. Yeah. So how big does that make you? How big and bad does that make you? That you can't even stand up to another man's face and say what's on your chest. Say what's on your heart. Say what you got to say. Hmm? That's the problem with what people, well, I'm going to say men in this generation, but people, period, but especially men in this generation, they're cowards. They were raised that way. You were raised that way. The type that put their hands on females, but don't never step to a man. Never. They're fearful of that. They're afraid of that. What's up for you? You must feel real accomplished. And I'm getting my money back and then some. And then some. And while you're in jail, your family's still gonna be catching hell. People are gonna be dropping like flies because of you. Because of what you decided to do. And you know that your children have to carry on the sins that you committed? Yeah. Yeah. The demons that you carry and that you conjured up 
Yeah, they're going to fall upon your children. As a matter of fact, that's already happening. That's your bloodline. Ten, ten on my timer. That is your bloodline. You brought demons upon your own kids for money. And because I denied you. How insecure. Can't take rejection. Somebody rejects you and you go behind their back and you want to murder them. You want to come up with a murder plot. Oh, uh, they rejected me. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't let me uh, uh, do what I wanted to do to them. Sexually, mentally, whatever. Even if I was to tell you, no, no, thanks. Your ego would be bruised so much. You would be so hurt by that. That you would go to every length and extent. To try to cause me to be homeless. And then run your mouth behind my back. To some people you call friends <laughs> that are nowhere to be found now, are they? Are they? No, they're not. Why? Because they knew that you were a dummy when you were doing it. They're laughing at you right now. I hope you know that. They're laughing because they were able to convince you to walk another way. And they're laughing because you thought you were big and bad and you th thought you were doing something when you actually listened to them and did so. While the whole time they were laughing at you and setting you up for failure. And then once you failed, they left you where you, where you're at. Now you're afraid because you know you're being watched by the feds. You know you are. You know you are. Because you don't step in my territory and then claim to be surveillance in me and you're not being watched? Absolutely not. So you guys keep mistaking and missing something. You keep leaving God out of the equation. See, you weren't coming after me. You weren't doing these things to me. You were doing it to God. That's what you were doing. And God's enemies are cursed. <gasps> oh, you didn't know? 13, 13, you didn't know? God's enemies are cursed. Oh my God. How dare you be sad right now throwing a pity party? Because you come to find out that everything you were told was a lie. <laughs> that it was a setup. See, when you're so full of yourself, when you're so arrogant and prideful and egotistical, you can't see the lie. That's right in front of your face. Why? Because whoever's lying to you is pumping you up, feeding your ego, feeding your narcissism. Setting you up for failure. Nobody feels sorry for you. No one. And while you're thinking, uh, uh, how do I contact contact him to, to apologize and all this. I don't want your apology. That's a fake apology. You only want to apologize because you're caught red-handed. That's the reason you want to apologize. You don't have remorse. You have regret of being found out. And you were being watched the whole time anyway. So there wasn't a moment that went by 
that you were getting away scot-free at all. It's called a setup. It's called a test that you failed. Yeah. God pays me, regardless. So anything that's ever even stolen or taken from me, I'll get it back and then some. And what you took, I'm getting that back too. It'll come out of you or it'll come out of your family or anybody connected to you, but it's coming out because it's mine. And you should really watch the words that you speak. You tried to claim that I had passed away so that you can receive what was mine. You better hope that those words you spoke don't become your reality sooner than you think. You got a lot to pay for. You got a lot to think about, to ponder over. Mm -hmm. In the same way you try to destroy my life and destroy me Because I wouldn't allow you to have sex with me Because you sleep with everybody you come into contact with Hence the reason that you have the STD Or the sexual transmitted demon, whichever you want to call it That's exactly why I smelled you from a mile away. Spiritually, you stink. You have the foul odor of everybody that you slept with trailing behind you. It's a stench, it's a smell. 1717 on my timer. It's absolutely a stench. Do you think I want that stench on me? You think I want to sleep with everybody that you come into contact with? Absolutely not. Disgusting. Huh? I said disgusting. And I knew that you slept with my mother as well. So I definitely wasn't sleeping with you. Absolutely not. And my ex, you think I didn't? You think I didn't know? Um, and me and Chris, we talked about See, that's the thing when you think you're getting away with something. See, if I know something, I'm not going to tell you that I know it at the time that I know it. Why would I? Why would I? I want you to walk yourself right into the trap. God sent me with a mask as well. You're not the first, and you won't be the last that have failed the test that God has given when people have come into contact with me. You're the what, seventh or eighth person that was supposed to partner up with me, but made the wrong decision? You're like the seventh or eighth person who's done that. This is not my first merry-go-round. And you thought that you were doing something. There's a lot more life than you have. And been through a lot more. You should have thought a little harder. You should have thought, period. My calmness and my temperament should have made you nervous. The fact that I wasn't spazzing out on you and doing all of this hoopla should have made you nervous. So I'm glad I grew up in the generation that I grew up in. That I'm from the 80s. Because I know better. Because it's the quiet ones that you need to watch out for. 
not the ones barking, doing all of the talking. It's like a game of truth that they're going wrong. The loudest one in the room is the weakest one in the room. So you will lack for a very long time for stealing. You're lucky you're not in a foreign country. They would have cut your hands off. Cut your tongue out as well for lying. And yeah, don't think I don't know about the underage person you got pregnant and made get an abortion. Oh, you thought I, oh, he thought I didn't know that, huh? No, oh, yeah. I know. I know. You got a taste for the younger one. Disgusting. And then he said the damn this thing. He's gonna pay for that too. Snoop got hit up on the joint. Well, Pop got shot. And he get a child pregnant. Before we hit the news. Do spell work so they'll have the abortion. Or also so the the baby will be aborted. And then you keep on having sex with the underage person. Stupid is as stupid does. Yeah, you've got quite a few skeletons in your closet. Quite a few. Quite a few. And I keep telling you people who try to come up against me, who try to do me bad and, and walk all over me. You need not be doing things like that if you got secrets that you don't ever want to be told. Because I'll tell them. If they come across me spiritually, I'll tell them. How big do you feel now? Excuse me, how big and bad do you feel now? Maybe you'll look, think about that the next time you let idiots pump you up to do something that you know dang well you have no business doing. You better watch the people you come into contact with. You better watch what you do to people, how you treat people. You're about to reap the treatment that you've been giving out. You better pay attention to it. Because if you don't, it's going to continue. It might take you a while anyway. You're an arrogant one. You are. Very much. Narcissist. Mm -hmm. You do people wrong and then <laughs> and then you want to you want to come back and talk about all all the issues you're going through and, and, and the trouble that you're in. But you don't want to you don't want the person to mention what you've done to them. No, you don't want to talk about that. Yeah. How dare you bring that up? Who do you think you are? 24, 24 on my timer. Who do you think you are? Pompous. See, in times past, I wouldn't even be sitting up here having this conversation. But, well, it's not a conversation because you're not talking back. But uh, I wouldn't be sitting up here even saying this. But I've come across so many of you that... It's, 
It's warranted. And it needs to be said. Because you people walk around here thinking that you can do and say whatever you want to whoever you want, whenever you want, however you want to do it. But when somebody, something happens to you, then it's a problem, right? Then, then it's a problem, right? You want somebody, you, you, you want somebody to hear, hear your plight, right? No, nobody cares. You're gonna see how it feels. That would be a confirmation. You're gonna see exactly how it feels to be ignored, to be stepped on and stepped over, looked over, treated like garbage, be taken from. Now you're gonna, uh, well, you know what it feels like for a, a, a grown man or an institution to tell you when you can eat, sleep, crap, whatever. You've been there before. You would have thought you learned the lesson the first time, but I guess not. So now you're going back. You're going back. Just might come and visit you and, and, and have one of these talks from the other side of the glass. Yeah, yeah, shocking you, huh? <laughs> I know you're shocked. You, 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 you didn't know I had this side to me. You, you didn't see this side of me. See, you, you people think that, that, that <laughs> you know, you see a person and oh, oh, they're, they're fluffy. Oh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're kind. We, it, it's, that's an easy target. Nah, nah, nah. You will soon come to learn that people have many sides to them. And I'm absolutely one of those people that have many sides to them. Absolutely. <laughs> I hope you spent it wisely. Which I know you didn't. You got a gambling problem. I already know what you spent it on. Escorts and hotel rooms and gambling on football games and the casino and just stupid stuff. Stupid stuff. At least if you're gonna steal something, do something with it. God. Where's your, where's your, Anyway, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make that horse drink. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, uh, you have fun hiding out, being paranoid, mm -hmm. waiting for your day to come, because it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, get it all out of your system. It's coming. And, uh, You can keep that apology. Let fester. Repeat it to yourself over and over. For all I care, I don't care. I don't care. Man, maybe you can tell it to me uh, one, 10 years from now down the line, if you're still, you know, you know. Tainara.